please welcome Mr. David Blancas. Buenas noches, ¿cómo están? Um, me, I like to speak Spanglish a little bit, so excuse me. You know, so I'll be transitioning from English to Spanish every now and then. It's a force of habit if I'm, uh, in the field I work in. First of all, I chose to be an educator. That is the profession that I chose. And sometimes it's hard. And you teachers know. You, you people that work with, with, uh, with the youth, sometimes it's a challenge. But tonight, this event, and thank you, Mr. Mohammed, for making this event possible, it just reignites that fire in my belly. You know, so thank you, all of you, young, young men, phenomenal men, for all the achievements that you've done. But tonight, we're also recognizing five other young, phenomenal men, and one of which is someone who I, who I you know, hold dear to my heart. Es un hermano. He is a brother of mine. Raul Buendia. Raul Buendia, he graduated from East Aurora High School in 2005. He was ranked number 14 in his class. In su clase numero 14. That's a huge accomplishment. He was captain of the soccer team, National Honor Society member, just a great individual. He did this while he was undocumented. Era indocumentado. He se graduó de la high school en numero 14. In December of 2005, he was able to, to obtain his permanent residency card. A great, great milestone for him. And then with that, he was able to enroll to Aurora University and pursue his education. He also enlisted into the Illinois Army National Guard. And while at Aurora, he had to postpone his, his uh, education because he was called and deployed to Afghanistan. Thankfully, he came back safely. And with that, when he arrived, and you saw in his eyes a new fire, you know, tenía corazón. So he went back to, to, to continue his education at Aurora University, and with that, he brought the fraternity of Fio Talfa. And you'll see some individuals, Kokabib, David Farrell. Nacho Cervantes. He helped bring this fraternity to build new, new leaders for the Aurora community. And in May 2011, he graduated from Aurora University. And he currently, he gave me his business card, so I have that too. <laughs> you know, he works for the Consumer Credit Counseling Service. El ayuda a las familias que, que están perdiendo sus casas, los ayuda que, que no lo pierdan. So he helps middle to low income families to not lose their homes. So he is impacting his community. He is a mentor, he is a friend, he is a brother. He is the 2013 Phenomenal Man of the Year, Raul Buendia. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'll try not to break it. Um, actually, I was really surprised when when Clayton told me in front of the B2M, I guess, family, that I was going to be one of the 2013 Phenomenal Men of the Year. I, I really wasn't expecting it. So I didn't really know how to react. And then later on, he sent me an email saying that I had to do a speech, which I've never really done anything like this, so you guys got to bear with me a little bit. So I obviously went online, and I looked at the videos of the previous uh, Phenomenal Men of the Year, and that just made it even worse. <laughs> These guys, like in the row behind us, are amazing speakers. So. I kind of freaked out a little bit, and I was writing my bio, and I kind of started thinking, why me? Why, out of all the people in Aurora, 
did they choose me? And I realized that I had been thinking that ever since Clayton told me that, that I was going to be one of the five. And that really went against everything that I did growing up. When I was in elementary school and middle school, I used to play soccer. And I would watch soccer on TV, the national teams, the professionals. And I used to think, why not me? Why can't I be a professional soccer player? So, like every young little kid, I try to be a professional soccer player. I didn't become a professional soccer player, if you guys <laughs> ever watch TV or soccer. But I became better just because I was trying to become a professional soccer player. I was trying in every single game and every single practice. And I used to watch the military commercials with the Marine slashing that fire dragon thing and, and a bunch of other things. So I thought, why, why not me? Why can't I slash a fire demon thing and do all those things? And then finally in December 2005, I joined the military. My freshman year of high school, I saw Gabby Bautista, who was the regimental commander for the East Aurora NJROTC program. And again, I thought, if she can do it, why not me? So I, what did I do? Everything that I possibly could. I went to every event. I read the field manual on my spare time. I did push-ups just because. And when it came time to name the, the next regimental commander, um, they called me up, and I became the, the first captain at the East Aurora NGRTC program. Um, And I know it's in my bio, and David said a lot of it too, but um, my freshman year, I, I came into Aurora University. It was 2006 after, because I went to basic training and all that stuff. Um, and I know Clayton's probably going to like this part, but it was at some event. I don't, I don't even remember the event, but they had like a break or an intermission, and the office started strolling. And I just saw like the pride and the passion and the dedication that they had for their org. So I thought to myself, why not me? Why can't I have that same feeling, that same pride, that same dedication? So me and a couple friends, we started our quest to look for a Latino fraternity to also bring to our university campus. And four, year, four years later, um, finally, I, I was one of the 11 founders of the Fiat Alpha Fraternity Incorporated Colony at our university. Um, but it, it's, when Clayton told me I was getting this, it was going against everything that I grew up doing. And it made me realize that attitude has a lot to do with what you accomplish and what you do. You could always think, if you, get, if, if you do get an award, like right now, that you're sitting there thinking, why me, why am I getting an award from Boys to Men? But instead of thinking that, you should be thinking, why not me? Why can't I be up there giving a speech? Why can't I be the chief of police or the mayor or the congressman? Why can't I be getting 80 million awards a week like playing? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I see that in the other phenomenal men. I, I know that Nacho, I, I know him really well, so um, I know that he thinks he sees President Obama, he saw President Bush, and he thinks, if they can do it, why not me? So I challenge you all, anytime you see anyone doing something good, or even nice, or mediocrely better than you could, just think, why not me? Thank you.